Hey, Mom Nation. It is Joanne from No Guilt Mom. And I wanted to give you really one really easy, simple tip that you could use to get your toddler to stop screaming, really to get any age of child to stop screaming. However, with the toddler, we go in with a little extra ammo. Um, Katie tagged me in a post uh, that somebody asked that her toddler was used to be such a quiet human being. And then, <laughs> then he just started screaming out of nowhere. So changes like this are normal toddler testing boundaries, uh, seeing how far they can get away, seeing how you'll react to things. And the best, best way to communicate with the toddler is first to make your emotions really well known. And to do that, you may need to overemphasize them. So you can't talk calmly to a toddler. You can't be like, oh, there's no screaming. We don't scream in this house. We're so quiet. Like that doesn't work. It goes right over their head. They have no idea what you're saying. Instead, you need to match their intensity. Um, the same emotional level that they are displaying, you need to go to that level too. So if they're going, <laughs> you need to go, oh my gosh, that hurts my ears, owie, owie, and I, I look like a total freak doing this on video, but you, you just need to make your emotions known. Ow, you're mad, I can't believe this, and I'm doing this so I don't have to yell so my kids don't hear me downstairs because I didn't tell them I was doing a Facebook Live and they'll come up and find me. But um, matching the toddler's intensity shows them that, one, they under... They, they, they know you understand them. They know you get it. And two, you are telling them how their behavior affects other people in a roundabout way. Toddlers, you can't rationalize with them, but they do understand base emotions. They're like primates or monkeys. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really the brain development we're talking about, where uh, like primates and animals understand emotional reactions and they get it when someone's mad but they cannot understand the verbal cues so with your toddler screaming match their emotional intensity and then tell them how they are affecting you cover those ears really over -dram dramatize it uh, and you will get through you may not get through right away it's going to take several times of this because your toddler is constantly changing this isn't a one and done type fix this is a way for you to handle each screaming episode and giving you a tool that you can communicate with your toddler or child with so uh, come visit me. I'm at noguiltmom.com and I have a post called uh, What to Do When Your Toddler Has a Tantrum in Public, which is also uh, has some really helpful tips in that, um, as well as uh, print out a toddler tantrum ebook there. And I'll put a link to it in uh, the comments. So have a wonderful night. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.